morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is September the 1st of 2023, and I have my hot cup of coffee right here. I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Leviticus in chapter 10. Please join us as we will be reading that in a few moments, and it is a beautiful, beautiful day. While you are turning there, let's turn our attention to the bad dad joke. Why did the fish get bad grades? Why did the fish get bad grades? Because it was below sea level. Okay, putting that away, and again, good morning to you. In just a few moments, we'll be hitting the road, heading down state. But it is a beautiful, beautiful day. And I may actually record coffee tomorrow's coffee with pastor a little bit later today depending on how circumstances unfold but we're looking forward to a great great day i trust you are as well um, as this day begins to unfold and by the way it is friday it is the beginning of labor day weekend and so a good long weekend for you to enjoy but please in the midst of your celebrations please do not forget your responsibilities to god it is still going to have a Lord's Day in the middle of it, don't plan through it, plan around it, and you be where God would have you to be, and that is in his house with his people. So again, it is almost getting to that nine o'clock hour, and we're going to go ahead, we're going to bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father, and certainly ask his blessing upon our day today as we it begins to unfold. Let's pray together. Father, good morning. We thank you for this beautiful morning and we pray that today that we would be well aware of our responsibilities to you. Father, guide us and direct us today. You know the opportunities that will present itself, themselves. And Lord, we pray that our eyes would be open and we would be looking for those opportunities to be a blessing to those around us. Father, that we would take the opportunity, that we would realize the importance of doing your will and working for your glory. Father, thank you for this day. I want to say thank you for each person who is joining us today as we read your word. Lord, you know who they are. You know where they are. You know what they're facing today and what they will face today. So, Father, we lift them into your presence, asking that you would sustain them through this day, that you would provide each and one, every one of their needs. And, Lord, encourage them. Bless them. And Father, when the day is all done, may we again just stop to recognize and to appreciate your goodness to us in all things. Father, we do ask your blessing upon the reading of your word. Open our eyes. Help us to see. Help us to apply. Help us to learn, comprehend. And Lord, again, may you be pleased with your people today. Father, we continue to pray for those down in the Carolinas, Florida, and Georgia, as the storm has hit them and hopefully has moved through and moved out into the ocean. Father, Help them as they seek to rebuild. We ask these things in Christ's holy name. Amen. The book of Leviticus. Book of, book of Leviticus and chapter 10. And Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer and put fire therein, and put incense thereon, and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. 
And there went out fire from the Lord and devoured them, that they died before the Lord. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is it that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh unto me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. And Moses called Mishael and Elzaphan, the sons of Uziel, the uncle of Aaron, and said unto them, Come near and carry your brethren from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they went near and carried them in their coats out of the camp, as Moses had said. And Moses said unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar, and to Ithamar his sons, Uncover not your heads, neither rend your clothes, lest ye die, and lest wrath come upon all the people. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, bewail the burning which the Lord hath kindled. And ye shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. For the anointing oil of the Lord is upon you. And they did according to the word of Moses. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine nor strong drink, thou nor thy sons with thee, when ye go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations. And that ye may put a difference between the holy and the unholy, and between the unclean and the clean. And that ye may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord hath spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. And Moses spake unto Aaron, and to Eleazar, and unto Ithamar his sons that were left. Take the meat offering that remaineth of the offering of the Lord made by fire, and eat it without leaven beside the altar, for it is most holy. And ye shall eat it in the holy place, because it is thy due, and thy son's due, of the sacrifices of the Lord made by fire, for so I am commanded. And the waved breast and the heaved shoulder shall ye eat in a clean place, thou and thy sons and thy daughters with thee, for they be thy due, and thy sons due, which are given out of the sacrifices of the peace offerings of the children of Israel. The heaved shoulder and the waved breast shall they bring with the offerings made by fire of the fat to wave it for a wave offering before the Lord. And it shall be thine and thy sons with thee by statute forever, as the Lord hath commanded. And Moses diligently sought the goat of the sin offering, and behold, it was burnt. And he was angry with Eleazar and Ithamar, the sons of Aaron, which were left alive, saying, Wherefore have you not eaten of the sin, the sin offering in the holy place, seeing it is most holy, and God hath given it you to bear the iniquity of the congregation, to make atonement for them before the Lord? Behold, the blood of it was not brought in within the holy place, Ye should indeed have eaten it in the holy place, as I have commanded. And Aaron said unto Moses, Behold, this day have they offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before the Lord. And such things have befallen me, and if I had eaten the sin offering today, should it have been accepted in the sight of the Lord? And when Moses heard that, he was content. And may God add his blessing the reading of his word. Beloved, again, the two sons of Aaron as they approach God in an unacceptable manner. And God struck them. As we mentioned before on previous days, one of the main lessons that we learned from the book of Leviticus is our approach to God has to be on his terms, not on ours. That is a theme we see literally throughout the entirety of the word of God. And beloved, listen, today, if we are to approach Christ through God, excuse me, if we are to approach God, we can only come 
through the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Beloved, I trust you're going to have a good day. Labor Day weekend is upon us. Enjoy it. But through it all, be faithful. Be faithful to God in all that we say, all that we do, all that we think. And never allow yourself to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Beloved, I want you to have a wonderful day. I want nothing but God's best upon your lives. Through it all, remember, God loves you very, very much, and we do as well. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen, and God bless you.